Hey there folks and friends, Connecting Dots here. It's Monday, March 3rd, 2014. Now before I move along here, I have to touch this for two minutes. Uh, if you don't mind, if you're into the truth here, I'm going to show you folks how they're deliberately spreading lies about me here because uh, I call some people out and I'm going to continue on. If you didn't see this video, I'll leave a link down below. So basically here, uh, uh, he came out, he's lying, he called me to a cage fight. This is Kevin D. Blanche. I'm refusing to get into a cage fight even though he's a pro wrestler. I don't care. I'm not into the fighting. But I am going to show you here how some of uh, these YouTubers who I'm calling fake have lied. I mean, we can start off with Miss Milky the Clown here, but I'm going to show you email emails here. I'm going to make this very fast because I've got bombshell information. I don't want to deal too much with these little people. So she says here in the early days I, I went across Canada but I quit doing the tour. We know it's a lie now. I did the tour with my own money. I'd said how I was going to buy both Geiger counters and go on the tour with or without anyone's help. Anyone who watched my video since 2011 and I left here in Vancouver Island June 27, 2011 three months after the incident. So unlike she says here I was sitting on my hands doing nothing. No, anyone's been following me. I was putting Fukushima videos from the very first day it took place. That's very sad that she would lie about me here. And uh, the, the rest of them, here we go here. Stacy, Missing Sky. I got all your comments here, girls. So Missing Sky, you can see here, nas nothing nasty. Nothing nasty. I was just telling you why are you promoting somebody who's telling you that there's no transfer of rods going on at reactor number four. That's it. And you, anyone can hit the space bar here, okay? And you can read for yourself what's going on. I'm not about... Uh, uh, about lying. I'm here to tell you that the truth is there and I got all their emails. Stacy, same thing. No nasty words here. These are my little words here that I've said. The rest of it was all of this. These aren't my words. I left the link here so you can get informed on what was going on. You choose to badmouth me and tell you that I'm saying this and saying that about you. There's the only two emails I ever sent your girl and that was it. Okay? So your story that I'm calling you out and saying a bunch of nasty things? No. Sorry, you're wrong, you're lying, caught you lying. Next person, Anna Bex. No, not lying to you. And to tell you from the very beginning, I don't believe he called me a shield. Why would I listen to Harry Patrick? You know, and, and or whatever his name, <laughs> Henry Patrick. And by the way, I made a mistake. He wasn't selling his book. He was giving the book away. But regardless, he's one of those people out there giving you misinformation, telling you Reactor 4 is a hoax. It's taking place. And yes, as you can see here on, this is where I had enough with her. I only had, spoke to her for two days back and forth. And at that point, I said I'd had enough here. I'm, I'm not going to deal with somebody who's going to be nasty with me and talk to me in that manner and have a nice life. Okay. And here's this latest one, you know, many of you had said, and I'm not going to share the emails, I promise you I wouldn't, but here's what we found in common. He's a loudmouth, he's rude, he plays the sympathy card, and in this vi recent video, which he just uploaded, it's what we all said, he uses the leuke leukemia disease, on and on and on and on and on and on, sympathy card, and in this latest video, he goes on to say how I, I'm one of these people that wish him death, you're sad, you're sick, and you need mental help. You need to be looked at. You're a liar, my friend. And as anyone can see, those of you that are supporting you are also liars. I, I strongly suggest you uh, let go of the radiation as your cure. Your chemotherapy did not cure you. It killed your, your tumor, your leukemia, and it also destroyed your immune system. And that's why you're fighting for your life. Do you understand that? I hope so. And I strongly suggest you get informed about the pH diet. And while you're at it, Mr. Kevin D. Blanche, go to my YouTube channel. And down below, you'll find my Fukushima, right below the Fukushima Day uh, list. You'll find my health helpers. Get informed, my friend, because it's one of the things I've been doing for a long time here. And it's all about cancer. Get informed. Enough with these clowns. On to the real stuff. Okay, officials backtrack on the threat to the public. Now, I've been talking about this New Mexico thing here. If you watch my videos, the levels 144 million times above the normal levels, of course they have to backtrack. They've been caught here, folks. I'll leave a link here if you want to go watch the video here because there is a little video here. If you want to watch uh, the Fox uh, 14, it doesn't matter. We all know here there's a major contained problem here. And they go on to say here that uh, on Thursday's news conference, Carlsbad field office manager Franco admitted that the department is not 100% certain but is pretty sure that surrounding population centers are safe. Pretty sure. Hope you feel very secure about that. It's pretty sure. You know, these officials will never stop. And even here recently in Japan, news fresh off the press here, the prosecutors have dropped the charges over Fukushima nuclear disaster. Now, here we are talking about censorship. We're talking about disinformation. Here we go again. Look at this. 
Second worst nuclear accident in history? No, it is the worst nuclear accident in history. Like I said, folks, be careful where you get your news. I'm only showing this here because they do have a little bit of truth, and this is what I found here. Not everyone's 100% liar because we'd all figure out they're liars, right? You gotta tell at least 75, 85% truth, and then the rest is lying by omission or just giving you disinformation. Well, here we go again here. <laughs> These people are getting off. The inv investigation clearly uh, indicated it was humans at fault, but they're getting off. Why? Because that's the way it works here. And it, they, they found mind-boggling cesium levels here near the Fukushima plant. And what? 370 times, uh, 370,000 becquerels per kilograms of soil. Can you imagine that? You're living here and it's 55 kilometers away from the plant. And you're living there and this kind of stuff exists in your backyard and the government's telling you, no, no don't worry about it. It, it, nothing to worry about and, and they're not responsible. Closer to home here, bombshell, 65 foot long crack found in the Columbia River Dam. Big news here folks, they're lowering the water 20 feet because they fear the structure otherwise could endanger inspectors. Are they worried about the inspectors or the people down below? Uh, yeah, I think they're concerned about the people that live below, below the dam. The inspectors too? Yeah, sure, probably, but I think it's the people down below, isn't it? Come on, let's get real here. So, if you go read the story, and I'll leave a link down below if you want, it talks about how the dam was built in 1959, okay, and the 10 spillway gates are each 65 feet wide. Isn't that a coincidence? They're 65 feet wide and the crack is 65 feet wide. Wow. So the gates are 126 feet tall, and I got a picture of them, 92 feet deep. So we have a major problem here, and that crack is 70 feet deep. So they're 92 feet deep, and the crack is 70 feet deep, and I'll show you that in the next article. Uh, let's bring this up a little closer here. Okay, so these would be the spillway gates that are 65 feet wide, and like I said, they went down 92 feet deep. The crack is 70 feet uh, deep, so uh, basically 12 feet from the bottom is where there's a 65 foot long crack on one of these gates so you betcha they are concerned if, if like that crack uh, let's go and by the way the crack is two inches uh, wide it's not a small crack here there's the article there's a section where it talks about it formed at about 70 feet underneath the water uh, underneath the gate you know it's 65 foot long yes they know there is a serious problem absolutely now they've warned everyone have they warned you people living in the area i hope so because here i talked about just a, a little while back here how they they had an outbreak here of uh, rare um, birth defects in this uh, yakima area of washington now the the uh, hanford nuclear waste site sits right here and this is where the dam is 30 uh, i think it's 30 miles down river from it and now another 30 miles down river is the a nuclear reactor folks they're very concerned here if this baby if this lets go watch out okay so I've been asking a lot of you to send out a uh, some uh, request here to the Canadian Food Inspection Agency uh, this is a reply from someone that uh, took the time to send out the information I promise I wouldn't show her name and uh, here we are here we are folks they're admitting here that they, uh, they did test domestic fish here in August 2011 and February 12th 12 and 20 fish uh, samples were collected. They tell you what kind of fish it is, uh, you know, and uh, the, all the results were below Health Canada and Codex action limits. Wait to see how low these limit or high these limits are. Now you may have noticed a, a little below here where it talks about the. Um, oh, where did I just have that? Okay, right here. That the uh, in addition, Health Canada uh, monitors the levels of radioactivity in the Canadian environment, and on an ongoing basis, Health Canada continues to monitor for levels of radionuclides in the food sold in Canada throughout the, its total di diet study. BS. I went and checked out the study, folks. Here's the page. I can, you can follow it up if you want. And down below, they say that the last time these studies were were done on Vancouver here was in September 2007. So I know for a fact. That they're not checking the radiation and they've said so themselves here and you go follow the articles here that more than 200 samples were done but these samples were all done a while back way back now we have the plume coming in here and you can see right here that these samples they say the last ones are in february 2012 well those samples were a 10 they're only local fish 10 Pollock and 10 hake they're bottom feeders they don't go out and migrate out like the uh, sockeye and the salmon and the, all those fish you notice there was only two samples of each the pink the sockeye the salmon you know and those were in 2011 
in August 2011. And oddly enough here, we had the albacore, uh, not albacore, I mean the uh, bluefin tuna. Uh, we, I reported here that the bluefin tuna, they pulled out of the co off the coast of California in 2011 after only spending five months in the Pacific Ocean. All 15 samples of bluefin tuna were 10 times more radioactive than they were pre-Fukushima. So I'm afraid here, it's exactly what, what I thought. It's the government downplaying it. again and that's why I've been asking you please send in a request and why not mention some of the stuff here that I've just said uh, you know it's it takes you a second of your time it's a proactive approach just be kind don't use I know you're gonna be kind what am I saying that's the one good thing I know though a lot of you you don't uh, you know lose your cool you're cool-headed you're not into swearing and fighting and stuff so I'm just asking you to take your time here and send the request in and let's make sure that our government gets on top of this stuff and if you don't want to send me uh, you know I was asking for donations here to, to buy a proper equipment myself so I could test for uh, cesium 134 137 and strontium 90 on the uh, west coast here I live on the west coast so I want to test the fish I want to test the, the kelp I want to test the water and, and if you can't help me out with a donation that's great that's okay I have no problem with that but at least take your time and send in this request okay it's the least you folks can do here. That's all I'm asking. Don't send me a dime. I don't care. I'm not in it for the money. I'm in it for my kids is what I am and my future grandchildren, okay? The future of the planet. Take care of yourself. Peace and prosperity. You cannot filter it out. It is in you. You are listening. Like when the voice inside your head says something, you are listening. It's, it's not even a choice because it's, it's inside, right? And it's, it's kind of trippy <laughs> uh, to, to even think about the it. The bigger you, you are build listening. the bonfire of understanding, you are listening. <laughs> how can it's I put it? Trippy. The bigger you build the bonfire of understanding, the more darkness is revealed to your startled eyes. We cannot evolve beyond the confines of our language. How can I put it? If you have a language telepathy impossible, then telepathy will be impossible. There is no closure. You see, we all pay lip service to the idea that, that language and culture create each other, and we actually act as though culture is real. To put pressure on the evolution of life, there is no closure.